Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kat. So we all know the death of Anne Hesh happened just a few short days ago. And I made a video um, showing how she sat up on the gurney. And there's a lot of talk going around that she was on cocaine and she was on fentanyl. But a lot of you didn't know that Anne Hesh has a Lifetime movie that's slated to come out in September and it is about human trafficking. So who here watching this video believes that there was a hit put out on Anne Hesh? Yeah, sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it seems to me like everybody who tries to come out with human trafficking stories or uh, blowing the whistle on sex trafficking in Hollywood, a lot of those people go missing, end up dead, end up a lot of things. And uh, there was a video posted of Anne earlier in the day at a wig shop trying to buy a wig. She didn't care what wig it was. She just wanted to be concealed, unknown. And I believe that Anne was in trouble, being followed, and possibly had a hit put out on her due to the line of work that she was creating. She was slated to be on a panel for the Lifetime movie set, a movie called Girl in room 13 it sounds very conspiracy theory like but at the same time a lot of those conspiracy theories are made to sound like crazy conspiracy theories because they're true so this article here says um, She was supposed to be in a press conference for uh, a panel for room, Girl in Room 13. The actor was originally set to be on the panel, uh, but has been in a car accident and has since passed away, unfortunately. Um, this project was important to her and we started to make a film that would bring attention to the appalling issue of human sex trafficking. We hope this film moves you and you are just inspired, just as inspired as Anne, to help us with our mission to stop violence against women. So the film has been finished and will air in September. So let me know what you guys think. If you think that perhaps it is possible that there was a hit put out on Anne Hesh. Um, the video of her uh, being wheeled away by firemen, which is, like, which is very strange. Since when do firemen load people in a gurney and into the ambulance? It would usually be the ambulance attendants and it looked to me like she was strapped down to the gurney in a body bag I'll show you in a minute and when she tried to get up it looked like she tried to get up and run away but they forced her back down on the gurney and she was loaded up into the ambulance and taken away if you see there's a reddit forum that says Anne Hesh practically jumped out of the gurney before they put her in an ambulance. How is it possible for her to do that if she was mortally wounded and brain dead? I feel like the guy could have saved her, but left her there because he was mad that she had the accident, in my opinion. That's them removing the car. <clears throat> How does somebody 
survive that. Look at the damn car. What's he looking at? Is she still in there? Are they still trying to dig her out? Like, it's so crazy when she sits up. Like, she's strapped in that gurney. That's her, where her head should be. Ambulance off site. 63, number 63 ambulance. Watch her sit up, it's so insane. You can literally see the skin peeling off her back. Then they force her back in there. And watch again how she gets up. Like she gets up and tries to get away and they push her back. There's other footage from this direction that I'll show you. How far this car goes into the house. I seriously think that Anne was racing away from somebody. Went in there, all the way through the house to there. No ambulance in sight. They knew that there was a driver in that car. Why is there not an ambulance? Not to mention, Anne Hesh got into an accident before. She wouldn't get out of the car. She was scared for her life. And she took off. And I think I even did a bad commercial for them when we were in the beginning of our days about let's say 64 episodes ago and we did so a terrible commercial oh, it was not for it them was fun. no no it was a fun commercial but we were like oh my god we find when we thought yeah, we if like, you're in passing progress and, we always, and you, you should go, go here and there and you should go there and here and oh my god it was terrible we didn't quite know how to do commercials <laughs> we're better than so there's Anne's car Let me know what you think about this situation. If you think that it's possible that there was a, a hit put out on Anne because of the work that she was doing with the sex trafficking, uncovering, among other things, let's talk about it in the comments below. Until then. Signing out. Anne Hesh has taken off life support today. Her organ donors have been found and they are being distributed. There's no word on who's getting them or anything like that. So kiss your loved ones and say a prayer and let me know in the comments if you think that there was a hit put out on Anne Hesh.